Hey, it's me again, doing something a little different today. I'm filming on location at my local coach store. I did get permission from the sales associates and from uh, regional management to do a little video here because I wanted to show uh, what the current spring summer line is and to get folks excited about the really cool offerings that Coach has right now. It's not really what you typically think of with Coach, or at least it's not what I used to think of with Coach um, way back when. But I know that a lot of ladies on the purse form are always asking to see certain sizes, certain styles and colors, because sometimes they don't always have all the interior colors and options on the website. So hopefully this video will uh, help some folks out in choosing which bag is gonna be their new forever favorite bag, or at least add to the collection. So I'm here at the Coach Boutique at Lehigh Valley Mall. And as you can see, I've got my new hair. This is how I normally look uh, when I don't go for over a year in between cuts and colors. But as you can see, my bright, blondish, natural, ashy hue is gone and I'm back to being dark. So anyway, enough about that. Nobody cares about my hair. Let's get started with the purses. And I am starting off with the Rogue Collection. Uh, of course, that is the It bag right now. This is the bag that people are most excited about. Uh, and it's definitely one of the bags I'm most excited about. This one should be familiar to you. It is the Olive Rogue, medium size, with the black handles and accents. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because I already do have that one uh, in another video that I did. But to show off some of the other colors and options, there's the black one again. This one is a really gorgeous Oxblood Rogue. I'm just gonna take that down to show you because this one has a whiplash handle. This is also the medium size. And it's gorgeous oxblood. It's got the black fob and the black uh, coach tag. And the, the real winner on this one are those whip stitch handles. You see there are the black smooth gloved hand leather with a burgundy whip stitch detail along the top. The little tassel that comes down with some stud embellishments. It focuses there. This one has the kind of a honey color suede interior lining on the pockets and also on the side. So that's a little bit of a departure from the rogues that I have, where the side panels have is, is made of the same pebble leather as the rest of it. But this embellished bag has uh, the suede on the side panels as well with the gloved tan zipper pull detail. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty bag. I, I really do love those whiplash handles. I'll put everything back nice and pretty when I'm done filming because I don't want to have to embarrass myself by showing you how awkward I am at grabbing things. This one here is a Rogue 25. It's the smaller size. This is in the chalk pebble leather with oxblood gloved hand handles and accents. It's got the brass hardware and again it's got kind of a, a warmer honey suede lining and I've got it sitting next to the medium size Rogue so you can see a size comparison. Um, as far as holding uh, capacity, I'd say that the 25 is similar to the Drifter top handle or to the Swagger 27 bag. It's still very roomy. You can get a lot in there, especially in the inner compartment. But of course, the medium size Rogue is more of a daily workhorse when you've got a lot of nonsense that you're carrying around with you. And another Rogue 25 that actually caught my attention even though I don't usually go for the lighter color bags is this really gorgeous it's a buttercream color what's the actual name of the color beechwood. beechwood thank you it's a beechwood color and it's got chocolate brown handles and accents so it has that really nice contrast that I dig like on the uh, olive rogue and it's just a really beautiful neutral color and the color is actually coming up pretty accurate okay and of course on the sides there we've got chalk colored side. I'm just gonna pause this for a moment. <laughs> Back again, sorry about that. Uh, I am stopping filming when a customer does actually come in the store because I don't wanna be the crazy lady scaring people off. This is kind of a small boutique. And uh, yeah, I, I wanna be gracious to the fantastic, amazing sales associates here and not spook off the customers. So if nothing else, this is gonna teach me how to edit videos and put them together. So back to the main tour. And 
another option for the rogues. This is a rogue 25 against the smaller one. And they do have rogues that have some exotic accent uh, designs. As you can see, this one is a very nice uh, buttery yellow color that has python handles that actually accent it really well. The, the color match in the scales is, is pretty perfect for the leather on the bag. It's got the black copper, copper hardware and again that honey uh, interior. I promise you not all of the rogue bags have that honey interior. It just seems to be the ones that I'm drawn to. Uh, again, I guess that Ouija board connection. But the key fob and uh, okay, and I've just uh, alerted that the color for this bag is called hay. And again, it's got the uh, the snake skin detailing on it on the back side of the tag with the hay colored front and the sides of it. This one is completely hay colored. It's, got, it's all pebble leather and then the shoulder straps and the zipper pad are, or zipper pull are smooth glove tan leather in the hay with the black copper hardware and that really sharp snake skin accent to really give a little bit of a, a pop. And next I'm going to move over to another section where they have an extraordinarily beautiful gray suede rogue. And this would be the beauty here. I'm going to pull it up to get better lighting and put it up next to another chalk colored pebble leather. But this is the gray suede. This one is completely suede on the outside. As you can see it's got that nice foggy misty color, black copper hardware. The key fob is made of suede and the tag is a smooth uh, gloved hand leather just like the handles and the zipper accents. This one has a smooth pebble leather interior with the suede outside, smooth leather inside, matching colors and this really is a stunner. This one uh, definitely has some nice slouch to it already. And I have heard from the ladies on purse form that the suede actually wears really well. You don't have to worry about this getting ruined or marked up. Um, you can know, just use like a little bit of like, like a protectant, like an Apple Guard spray protectant, and it'll keep that suede in fantastic condition. And it seems to be aging really nicely for the folks that already have this bag and have had it for a little while. So gorgeous, gorgeous bag, very luxe, very soft and smushy. Don't let the suede scare you because, again, this is high quality materials being used, so you can have fun with it and not worry about it. Next up is the new Rogue Tote line. It's a smooth leather bag that has the Rogue handles, the kind of like that luggage handle, and the shoulder straps. And, the interior, and it has a little bit of a lock in the middle to keep it closed up. I think this is the, the regular size tote. And on this gray one, there's a gorgeous burgundy leather interior. And these are aligned completely in smooth leather. And they do come with a leashed pouch in a color that matches. And that's just really, really striking. The little pouch is removable. You can unclip it from the handle here, use it loose, or you can keep it attached to the bag. And the story patch, the Credo, is on the little removable zipper pouch. And again, this is a bag that can be worn, carried like a tote, by the hands, or it can be done shoulder strap. Sorry if I'm pictures getting a little wonky there. And just to give you an idea of the size of the tote, do a little bit of a mod shot here. Ooh la la. And again, just like the original Rogues, the, fold, the handles do fold in for a completely flat, seamless look. I can't do it now because I do have the clip done in the middle, but you can at least see on the on this here how smooth it is. So you can't even tell. There's no bulges. There's no weirdness with the handle being folded in. So it's a very very sophisticated bag. It's very stylish. It make for a really nice work bag. And the rogue totes do come in a variety of colors. It comes in the black. It comes in the ox blood. And there's a few variations on it too. Down here is the black rogue tote with the link leather sides. Now this is a pretty cool new thing they've introduced for spring summer. 
where the leather is kind of linked together in little tabs like a chain type design. And these bags are really, really lightweight. Again, I know there's concern about uh, weight on the original rogues and the medium sized rogues, but the rogue totes are really, really lightweight. There's hardly any heft to them because they are made completely of smooth gloved hand leather. So that would be great for if you're carrying them around for kind of a long haul, if you're a, a walker. And I do have to quick show you this adorable little Rexy. Well, he's not really little. You can see how huge he is uh, compared to the rogue tote, but there's a wild little leather Rexy skeleton with a mohawk because what dinosaur doesn't need a mohawk? I love it. Something else to show off. I know this one's been really popular on the purse blood forums. This is their T leather, or I'm sorry, the T rose rogue 25 all of those flowers are hand done they're they're hand cut uh, with the leather press and they're hand painted and they are attached by hand with a series of very very secure rivets these uh, aren't going anywhere you can see some of them are embossed directly onto the leather some of them are double flowers and some of them are single and this one has a nice little contrast to pop of pink on the inside a pink suede interior so I told you they didn't all have the honey interior. And you can see, again, with the craftsmanship, you can't see the rivets at all on the inside. You can, you can feel them if you rub through the suede, but it's just a, a beautifully constructed bag. This is pretty solid. And on the back side, the tea roses just have the 3D ones on the bottom part, and they're all embossed on the top part. So if you are wearing it as a shoulder bag, you don't have to worry about rubbing these off and damaging the flowers. It's nice and flush where it's going to sit underneath your arm. So this is a just really phenomenal quality. I can't see myself carrying something like this. I'm not too flowery, but I do admire these every time I come in just because the craftsmanship is outstanding. You can see there's a variety of different studs and rivets and metals used there just to keep things super interesting. I'll do that as a segue into the next line of items. If you don't want the Rogue, the T-Rose options are available on the Dinky bags. Now these are the, dink, the Dinky, or these are the really tiny little uh, pocketbooks. These are kind of like a, a phone case or for going out when you don't really need anything beyond, you know, lipstick and ID and credit card. but you can see that there are other bag options. There are clutch options. If you want just a little accent piece to go uh, with those tea roses, but you don't want to do a whole bag. There's some really nice wristlets. Again, it's got that contrasting pink interior leather lining. You can see pockets in there and there's a zipper pocket, credit card holder in the back and a pocket in the front that also has the pink leather lining because the attention to detail with this company is just outstanding. And here's the uh, Wild Tea Rose Dinky Bag. This is the original size Dinky, which is a very nice shoulder bag or crossbody bag. Oh, that's my first time looking at this one. This one has a suede interior. This one has a pink suede interior. That is really incredible, really beautiful with a really, really soft leather exterior. This one has fringe on it, but they don't all have fringe. You can get them without the fringe. Nice chain strap that has the leather woven into it. And of course the Dinky line has the Bonnie Kashin Kiss Lock interior there. And then the rest of it is one big compartment and then there's a little slip pocket in the front part here. And there's some really neat whip stitching around the edges there on the, on the inside. And this one has Looks like an antique nickel hardware, which I haven't seen on any of the coach bags thus far. I've only seen like the gold, the brass, and the black copper. So that's a really neat new uh, new option. Well, some of the flowers in this one, on the wild rose, uh, the wild tea rose, that's a metal flower riveted in around the leather flower. That's pretty sharp. I'm really digging that. Another option going back to the dinkier bags, the really cute little tiny bags. Here's another example of the link leather, which is available with Coach right now. 
Here it is in pink and black, with a little bit of burgundy in there. And we do have, oh, and down here, here's a regular dinky. Again, beautiful. This is all glove tan leather, smooth uh, inside and outside. They've got the contrasting leather on the inside. The chains that have the, let's focus here, with the leather lining in between. Bonnie Cachine Kiss Lock. These are all really amazing leathers. They're so, so soft. Here is a tea rose dinky in uh, the chalk color. So if the black and the burgundy or the black and the pink isn't really your jam, you can go with a more neutral color, a lighter color, nice for spring. And this one I think has the, uh, this one has like a honey interior. Again, smooth, all smooth. And then for just comparison shot, there's a black dinky and the t original T Rose dinky. And then swing them back around this way just to show you one of the link leather dinkies in the regular size. Oh, this one also has the uh, antique nickel hardware. And just to show you how the link leather is constructed, it is kind of open, so it's very lightweight and it folds back really nicely. And this one is pretty cool because as you can see, the rings where you attach the chain, they can fold in. So you can use this bag as a clutch. It can be a shoulder bag, it can be a crossbody, or it can be a cute little clutch. And then of course, we've got the saddle bags. These are also part of the uh, 1941 line, like the Rogues and like the Dinkies. These are just a very classic 70s design. Again, they've got the contrasting leather lining and these bags are all lined with leather. We've got the dark hardware. Oop. There's a pocket in the front and an open compartment with a zip pocket in the back. And these bags, these saddle bags, if you can get them monogrammed as well. You can do it online or you can have it uh, sent away at your store if your store doesn't offer in-house monogramming. But they can do monogramming right here on the flap. You can do either, you know, things like initials or little symbols like the skull, like what's on my rogue hang tag or dinosaurs or hearts, whatever your heart fancies. And then moving over to the non-1941 line, we've got some new styles for the swaggers. We've got some embellished ones on display in a really, really stunning blue. This would be amazing for, for summer. This is Swagger 27, like the one I showed off in uh, the really poorly lit video in my house. This one is patchwork leather. It's pebble leather with a smooth gloved hand. We've got a lot of great patches, embellishments, and studs here. Got a little B, got some stars. It's got the dark hardware. And the interior is lined in the coach fabric. It's not with the C's, but with the name coach. That's kind of... Uh, it's a nice, sturdy, strong fabric. You don't have to worry about it ripping or tearing. This also comes in the chalk color. And there are matching wallets, crossbodies, and accessories to go with them. This is one of their new shoulder, uh, the Swagger shoulder bag. It's got the double turn lock feature, just like the buckle detail on the satchels. And really cool thing about these is you turn one of them and they both turn so that you can go ahead on into it. These are also lined leather interior on the flap and then the cloth interior inside the main compartment, zipper compartment in the back, slip pocket in the front, and then a full length slip pocket as well. These are the studded versions of the bag. I'm going to swing on back to the plain versions, which I may or may not have uh, set aside to pick up this weekend. I think the detail is actually a lot more evident on the plain ones, uh, just to focus on for the moment. You can see it's got a really nice detail, roll detail around the edge here. This bag kind of reminds me of the Chanel Boy bag in a way. And you can see that the strap is chained along the top and then leather where it's gonna be sitting on your shoulder. So it's a very, very comfortable bag to carry. And it's 
fairly wide. It's pretty roomy, so you can do a lot with it. It does have the pocket across the back as well. So this is just a very stylish, chic, fashionable bag. Again, it, it reminds me of the Chanel Boy bag, but nicer because I really, really dig the double turn locks. It also comes in burgundy with the dark hardware. You can get matching wallets for them. And then there is the Swagger 27 and the smooth glove tan leather and the burgundy, which is gorgeous. Swing on over to some of the Mercer bags that are available, particularly this one here. This would be a gorgeous bag for summer. Again, it's that nice bright blue, really vivid. It's a pebble leather with smooth glove tan leather accents. So the corner pieces, the strap in the middle, the handles are all smooth leather. It's got sweet little turn lock. And there's a full length pocket in the front there and then multiple compartments on the inside. So this is a very functional bag. It is uh, lined in that really heavy duty, strong fabric. It's got a slip pocket, a front open compartment, zipper compartment, and then a back compartment with a zipper along the back. And this is one that can be worn crossbody, on the shoulder or carried as a satchel. So it's a very versatile, very functional bag and one of the great work options. Here's one of them in the chalk color with the brass hardware with some really, really snazzy uh, printed wallets and card cases to show you how well everything complements each other here. And this quick pan here, there's a smaller size, I think this is the Mercer 24. Comes with some really vivid colors, some gnarly prints, and then that summery blue. Also comes in the new fatigue color, which is a nice neutral brown. It's a nice rich color. This here is one of the ED bags. These are a very popular shoulder bag. They come in a few variations. This one is a chalk bag. The zipper has a little turn lock feature so you can lock the zipper down so you don't have to worry about pickpockets. It's nice and secure. It's got the contrasting fabric lining on the outer compartments. And there is a zipper inner compartment there. Swing on back to look at some of the other Edies because they are a really, really gorgeous bag. I'll just show you the different color options. A black one there. There's a nice pink one available. And there's even one. It's a nice neutral color and it's got the snakeskin zip lining just to add a little bit of uh, class there. Just a little pop of, of distinction of that bag. Nice neutral, but it still has some edge to it. Oh, here's my drifters. There's two varieties of the drift. We've got the top handle, which is the one we all know and love, my Plague Doctor urn bag. There's also a carry-all version, which is a bit larger. It's got two handles on the top, so it does fit quite a lot more than the top handle drifter. This is more of, this would be a good bag for work. Very large roomy compartment inside, all lined in leather. And I know that some folks have used the, the carry-all style as both the shoulder bag and a crossbody bag as well. It does come with the strap, so you have the option. But of course, I had to show off the drifters, even though you've already, are probably sick of them, sick of hearing me talk about them. Over here, this is the Oxblood Brooklyn 34, another fantastic option for work. I'm just gonna swing over here to get a better shot. This one is actually my favorite. It's the surplus color. It's a nice green, army green, so you know I'm drawn to it. It's got the gunmetal hardware. It's just got that nice little turn lock, again, securing the zipper, so that whatever you have in this compartment is safe from sticky fingers. The two outer compartments are lined in smooth uh, gloved hand leather and a contrasting color. And then there is, of course, the zipper compartment, which also has the turn lock security feature there. It's not just for style, folks. There's some function to this design as well. And like the Swaggers, the Brooklyn 34 has the metal tag, which I think is just really neat. It just adds a little bit of luxe feel to the bag itself. 
It comes in different color options. Here's navy with the gunmetal. There's really rich colors. There's a saddle with the silver hardware. And then we've got the Turnlock Edie. This is like the other bag that I showed you a moment ago. Difference is being there is a Turnlock on the outside that holds the middle part shut and there are some chains leading up to the leather shoulder strap so it gives you a little more edge, a little more detailing to that one. Take a peek around. This is the Prairie Satchel. This one's also in surplus and this is a mixed leather. We've got the smooth leather in the middle. Uh, pebble leather on the edges there. Oh, it's buffalo leather. I've been corrected. <laughs> that explains why it feels so much softer and smushier than the pebble leather on my bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was pebbled leather. Well, look at me rocking buffalo leather. I feel like an outlaw now. <laughs> And that explains why it's so much smushier. I like it. Uh, the Prairie Satchel has uh, one large compartment on the inside with a zipper pocket in the back. There's a shoulder strap in there. It is lined in a matching fabric color. It's just a really cute little satchel to carry around. Of course, we've got some of the wallet options here. The zip wallets. There's the one that has the studs on it. There's a, this is an embossed snakeskin. It's not actually made of snakeskin. It is a leather that is just embossed and painted to look like, like a snake or lizard scales. That's available in the snap version as well. You can see the coach wallets do offer a lot of card slots, a lot of places to put cash and checkbooks and whatnot if anybody uses checkbooks anymore. They have small wallets. Cute little envelope style, card holders, ch uh, change purse, there's a little key ring in there. And actually, I'm slip on over and look at some of the new, the 1941 clutch wallets. I'll pull this one up here, that really pretty burgundy, and you can see it also comes in the red, the gray, and I know the black is an option as well. This is from the 1941 line. It's a wallet. You can see the contrasting leather on the inside. It's all leather lined. Has a few compartments, credit card slots, a zipper pouch, a slip front in the front there. Now this can be used as a wallet. You can stick it into inside a bigger bag or you can use the dinky chain to link it to the little uh, rings there and use it as a wallet on a chain or it can be used as just a little clutch. Again, really, really versatile products. And this one in particular has snakeskin accents. You can see on the wrist strap, it's a snakeskin. And on the back of the cute little coach tag, it's got the matching snakeskin. Uh, the other ones here are all le uh, just smooth leather. There's no snakeskin uh, accents here. But again, you've got the contrasting leather interior and these are just really beautiful. We've also got the Trifold wallets from the 1941 collection. Again, contrasting leather interior. Hand it to you, Coach does not make anything boring. Everything just has great little details and surprises when you open it up. Yep, oh, I can figure out how to close a wallet. And then we've also got in that style some really, really cool surprises here. Here's a nice pink one that's very spring-like and summery. Pink exterior and oh my God, when you open it up, speaking of surprises, it's printed leather. <laughs> that is really sharp. That is really eye-catching. See, I don't like pink, but I really like that pattern. That's pretty cool. And it's also available in the chalk version. Oh, it's got very pretty, it's very vintage looking. It's a very nice vintagey uh, interior there, and it's really soft. I just love coming here and just petting everything, because I'm sure the sales associates appreciate me getting my grubby hands all over everything. <laughs> all right, just a quick scan around the store here. Oh, speaking of the snake skin and the swaggers, 
One of the new options available for spring summer is a snakeskin swagger bag. This is the Swagger 27. As you can see, it's snakeskin front, snakeskin on the sides with smooth gloved hand leather accents and handles. And they're actually surprisingly smooth. You would expect it to feel a lot scalier, but it's a very smooth feel. And then there's a color block swagger. You can see in the chalk leather with the black accents and a complimenting tone on the zipper pull on the inside. Just kind of scan so you can see all the different color options and varieties for the swagger. You do have the studded swaggers just like the studded swagger shoulder bag I looked at earlier. It's kind of an ombre design where it's wider studs at the bottom fading up to a smaller design at the top. Just kind of scan. We've got some of the bag charms here. Get a little stegosaurus. I know I've been favoring the T-Rexes in my my own haul here, but uh, there's a cute little stegosaurus available. And I'll swing on over for one last look at some of the dinosaur things because, again, emotionally I'm five years old. And I love the little dinosaur patches. There's one with the triceratops. We've got the woolly mammoth. They're available in luggage tags, passport covers, hang tags, and little leather uh, key fobs or bag charms. That's in a really pretty uh, dual color there. Tricky there is in purple and in blue. Thank you. With some black edging on it. These are just really, really beautiful, very detailed, very well made because you want your dinosaur skeletons to last. These puppies ain't fossil fuel. And then just, uh, again, alluding towards the monograms I mentioned before, here's examples of some of the ink colors and designs you can get. You get unicorn, focus. Focus on there we go, unicorn skull, like on my rogue. Get the Rexy dinosaur, get strawberries, you can get a shark. Now hashtag lips, and stop in any coach boutique, and you can get a uh, sample book where you can see the different inks, the different sizes, and all the different options for the monogramming and how it will look on the different leathers, whether it's smooth or pebbled or what have you. Whoop. You get some Chinese characters there, some hearts. There's a lot of really neat options. The, not only are the bags very unique and diverse in and of themselves, and all the accessories and small other goods astounding, but you can even personalize them further with all the key, uh, key fobs and the monogramming. So, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my favorite haunt, favorite place to hang out and annoy people. And I hope that you really enjoyed the bags that you saw. Hopefully this answered some of uh, que the questions folks have about size comparisons, the different uh, colors and leathers available, the different hardwares. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit subscribe if you're interested in my videos. I don't have a set filming schedule, so if you hit subscribe, you'll know every time I have a new one up. And I hope y'all have a great night. Take care now. Bye-bye.